I would beg a little private audience. You had the tyranny to deny me last night, though you knew I came to impart a secret to you that concerned my love. You saw I was engaged. Unkind. You had the leisure to entertain a herd of fools, things who visit you from their excessive idleness, bestowing on your easiness that time which is the encumbrance of their lives. How can you find delight in such society? It is impossible they should admire you. They are not capable. Or if they were, it should be to you as a mortification, for sure to please a fool is some degree of folly. I please myself. Besides, sometimes to converse with fools is for their health. Your health? Is there a worse disease than the conversation of fools? Yes, the vapors. Fools are physic for it, next to Aslofitida. You are not in a course of fools. Jennifer, if you persist in this offensive freedom, you will displease me. I think I must resolve, after all, not to have you. We shan't agree. Not in our physic, it may be. And yet our distemper, in all likelihood, will be the same. For we shall be sick of one another. I shan't endure to be reprimanded, not instructed. It is so dull to act all this by advice, and so tedious to be told of one's faults. I can't bear it. Well, I won't have you, Weatherbell. I'm resolved. I think you may go. Ah, ah, ah. What would you give that you could help loving me? I would give something that you did not know I could not help it. Come, don't look grave then. Well, what do you say to me? I say that a man may as soon make a friend by his wit or a fortune by his honesty as win a woman by plain dealing and sincerity. Sententious, Mirabel. Prithee, don't look with that violent and inflexible wise face, like Solomon at the dividing of the child in an old tapestry hanging. You are merry, madam, but I would persuade you for a moment to be serious. What, with that face? No, if you keep your countenance, tis impossible I should hold mine. Well, after all, there is something very moving in a lovesick face. Ah, oh, now, well, I won't laugh. Now, don't be peevish. Hey-ho. Now, I'll be melancholy, as melancholy as a watch light. Well, Mirabel, if ever you will win me, woo me now. Nay, if you are so tedious, fare you will. I see they're walking away. Can you not find in the variety of your disposition one moment... To hear you tell me foibles, married. And your plot like to speed? No. But how came you to know it? Without the help of the devil, you can't imagine, unless she should tell me herself. Which of the two it may have been, I will leave you to consider. And when you have done thinking of that, 